troubleshoot and detect security threats. From time to time, it might be necessary to use a network tab to collect data between two network devices, which already have overloaded or congested link between each other. Having a basic understanding of how to capture data with the network tab is also important for the security analyst. The network tab is installed between two network devices, for example, a switch and a workstation, where it provides one or more ports that output the traffic that is going between the devices. The network tabs operate at layer one and do not packet inspection. So they don't introduce congestion or degrade the performance of the link. The security analyst should have a basic understanding of network tab benefits, limitations and operations. In the diagram, you see a depiction of a typical fiber-based network tab. The network tab must be inserted in between the two devices, which means some downtime is necessary. As you can see, this network tab is inserted between a perimeter firewall and the primary router on the network. The capture device needs two network cores to be able to capture both sides of the conversation. Since the network tab splits the receive and transmit pins into two separate ports. The benefits of network tabs are its ability to operate at wire speed as a layer one device. It is reliable and often fail safe, preventing any downtime due to the tab and the ability to easily determine which side of the connection is sending traffic due to the separate receive and transmit pins. Some of the limitation or that the tap is unable to filter traffic due to its layer one nature installing the tap requiring downtime and taps are often expensive if multiple taps are required then you have to multiply the cost by the number of taps needed taps are often uh, rack mountable as well as so not only do you have to have space for them but you also need to get them to the location where the tap is needed. And finally, multiple NIC are needed 